Hello guys, I uh, just thought I'd do a quick video to say thank you very much for the 100 subscribers. Just noticed that I actually passed it, I think I've got 102. So uh, that's great, I'm uh, really chuffed and humbled that you guys are uh, willing to watch what I put out. Um, it's great being part of the community and um, I'm hoping to do more videos and crack on to about 150 subscribers this year so that'll be that'll be my new target which was originally 100. Um, just want to do a few shout outs while I'm on. First of all is Terry Crick, uh, has a great channel, primarily 20 mil stuff I think, just done a really interesting project on the Sudan uh, and is about to embark on the War of 1812. Um, really passionate about what he does, some great research and posts up his books some of which are really interesting to uh, try and get hold of. So uh, check out Terry Crick. Next guy is Phil Stevenson. Um, does 28 millimeter Romans, World War II naval and 18 millimeter Napoleonics. Um, again, lovely bloke. Uh, his channel's uh, quite small, I think it's quite new, um, but uh, really nice stuff on it. And um, It'd be great if you could go along and give him a couple of subs. So that's Phil Stevenson. Uh, next is Michael Angelo. Primarily does 172nd Napoleonics using uh, plastics. Um, really, uh, some really good stuff on there. Uh, looking at um, wargaming from uh, a different angle with the plastics rather than the metal kits and uh, the 28mm plastics. Um, so yeah, go and check out Michelangelo's channel. Um, and finally, we have King Matt the Superior. Uh, he's just embarking on a six millimeter ACW project, which is really interesting. Uh, it's gonna be quite big by the looks of it. He's got plenty of figures, both from Bacchus and Adler. Uh, and it's really good watching him put it together from start to finish along with his thoughts about basing as well so go and check out king matt the superior um as to what i'm doing at the moment um i'm just sort of painting a few figures here and there just really what sort of takes my fancy i've been working on some uh huguenot langsnet pikemen um from the french wars of religion for a war uh sorry for a um pikeman's lament project um, so it's not going to be a particularly big thing, maybe about six, seven units, no more than 12 figures per unit. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to get the Hugano side done first. might take a while because I've got to do my own flags because unfortunately there's none of those available um, to purchase. So yeah, I'm going to have to be uh, drawing and painting my own, unfortunately. Um, and then uh, hopefully I'll go on to the Catholic side of it. I've got plenty of lead, so oh god, a minute, um, some right old weight there. I could do some serious damage with that. But um, bought those ages ago uh, from a sale that Foundry had just before they went into packs. They were still in Nottingham City Centre at the time, so that shows you how long it was. Um, and um, just haven't known what to do with them, but Pikeman's Lament, I think, is a pretty good way to go. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll be working on that. Just That'll just be on and off as and when I fancy it. Just a bit of a, a change from some of the other things that I'm working on. Um, the Greeks are still in, definitely in uh, my um, viewfinder for getting done as soon as, as possible um, but I'm a long way ahead of the guy I'm going to be uh, primarily playing against with that so uh, I've only got I think about 20 figures left to paint for that so that shouldn't take long and also the fact that they're um, unarmoured um, again shouldn't take too long with that so as soon as I know he's cracking on with that I'll, I'll move back on to that um, the uh, 1812 Retreat from Moscow project uh, just needs another couple of packs, really. I was going to pick them up at Hammerhead, but unfortunately Foundry didn't have them. So, uh, yeah, I'll just have to order those. It's, um, again, just a pack of uh, um, 
Jaegers and um, some Cossacks. So again, that won't take long. Um, but looking to start a new project, um, really like some of the things that you guys are doing with your larger armies and what have you. Um, quite fancy doing an army project. Um, so I'm going to look at that. The Killy Cranky project is completely on hold at the moment. Um, I my another friend of mine is interested in doing it, so we're looking at not doing Killy Cranky, but actually doing the War of the League of Augsburg, uh, French and um, Williamite forces in Europe rather than uh, in Ireland or in this country, and also we might be dropping down of scale so that's all completely on hold at the moment and um, we'll be getting around to that I would imagine the latter part of this year rather than now um, so yeah that's sort of where I'm at at the moment um, so I hope you're all doing well I hope your projects are going along nicely uh, and I hope you're all staying safe um, I'm going to celebrate later on with Uncle Jack and have a couple of those so once again, thanks guys. Go and check out the um, the guys I've given a shout out for and uh, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Take care, lads. Cheers. Bye.